Well, the last time we saw Syracuse was on Saturday at Wake Forest, where they lost 99-70, and for the second straight game, they allowed their opponent to shoot for 60 or better percent. One of three players who had their career high in the game Saturday against Florida State. Yeah, Tyler Johnson's just hard to keep out of the lane. You can't overhelp. And there's Huntley Hatfield. He knows what it takes and what success looks like here in Syracuse. Exactly. He, and he understands that he needs to get a good catch. And that's just too easy. That's a that's a paint touch overhelp. And right now, Syracuse is really struggling. Paint touch, pocket pass, bam, late. 16.58 remaining first half. Louisville on a 9-0 run. Chris Bell misfires off the back iron. Long offensive rebound grabbed by Malik Brown. Bell will try again, and this time he finds the ring. Value of education, the value of player development. Those are all, all kind of pillars of our program at Virginia Tech. Bell off the bounce. Long two-point shot is good. It's good offense again by Louisville. Go, go, go. Oakland had a scene for a moment. Now the back yeah. Sophomore to sophomore once again. It's another dunk for Malik Brown. And I'm a big Copeland fan. Copeland right here. Advance pass, attack, eyes on the rim, tries to get a piece of the paint. Head is up. Little no look. Hey. Huntley Hatfield left it short. Copeland pushes the tackle. Bell on the reverse. Love the ball in Copeland's hands. His decision making, his vision, his feel offensively. Another turnover. Here they come again. Starling with the two handed flush. Kenny Payne needs a quick timeout. Trading offense out of the defense, getting deflections, playing ahead of the defense. That's been Syracuse's best offense. Williams missed everything. Right place, right time for Trey White. He's got a chance for a three-point. Feathers surveys the four active hands defense. Whoop. What happened there? Happy Dunn. Clark has the pass right through the hands of his teammate. Numbers again for Syracuse. Copeland fakes the pass. A la Sherman Douglas style. Copeland's been terrific in terms of as a facilitator, a playmaker. He's actually their best perimeter passer. Williams. A little strong off the back iron. And a foul on the putback. Count the basket and one. Seven to shoot. Mintz backing down. Johnson tries to stay with him. He is called for the foul. And Mintz has a chance for three. Old Mark Jackson, St. John's back in the day. A little back down. Get to the middle of the floor. Use your size. Really nice. Virginia Tech, Pittsburgh, and Clemson. Although those two losses... Their last two times out. Mintz able to get to the bucket and score. Left-hand side. Watch him dip his right shoulder right there. Straight line drive. Put the defender on his hip. Keeps his chin on the rim and a nice finish. I like what, what Syracuse is doing. 18 points against Florida State getting to the line. He was 14 of 19 against the Seminole. He's been their most consistent, most complete player. There we go. Who made the play? Copeland makes the play. He could, he could really impact winning if he just does some of the intangibles a little more consistently. Copeland, tough shot. And the contact. It just hasn't translated into a better percentage in game. And watch, watch when the ball goes on the rim right now. These guards have got to get engaged rebounding the ball. Tyler Johnson, the reigning ACC freshman of the week, got it on the rim and finished off by Trey White. If look on the left-hand side of the street, dribble penetration, look where he's coming from. He's coming from the 45-degree angle. No one finds him. No. Ball's getting stuck right now. Starling trying to go behind his back, lost it to Sky Clark. Clark has it poked away. Fight for the ball that comes to Syracuse. Starling saves it. Mintz out ahead of the pass. And he'll have a chance for three and a chance to tie the ball game. A little bit out of control in this play. Good deflection right there. Bell actually sticking his hand in, getting the deflection. And a very good pass right there. Now the ball stuck, short clock. Bell. Huge shot for number four, and that's a new career high to put Syracuse back in front. 
Got to know where James and Williams are. Clark from the elbow. He'll have a chance for three. Big shot for the cards. Right, when you bring it back, there's a step-up screen by Hatfield. Great job of Clark using the screen. All screen from Brown. Mintz picks up his dribble. Bell with a good shot fake. Open look and nailed it. He's made every shot. If they can turn a ball handler right here in the backcourt, that's good. You force him in the backcourt, keep it in front. It's a switch and a contest. Clark for the tie. He's wow. got it. Here comes Copeland. Five seconds. And it's blocked from behind. They're going to pop the basket. It's a goaltending call that will give Syracuse the lead back. Clark has it. Here's the screen. Into there it the is. Front court. Looks up at the clock. Puts it up. No. And that's your ball game.